Hey everyone, my name is Jason. I'm a community manager at Coffee Stain Studios. And last week we showed off the first look at Update 5. So it was a teaser trailer showing the rework of the Northern Forest that's going to be happening in Update 5. And it also marks the, the first video in, you know, like the beginning of the Update 5 teaser season. So, you know, as we did with Update 4, we tried like every week to, to put out information and teasers and whatnot for Update 4 at that time. And we want to do the same kind of thing with Update 5. And so, you know, that was last week. We're putting this this video out now and then hopefully we can keep this up keep giving you uh, some new stuff every week so if you're interested in update 5 in satisfactory consider subscribing so that you can uh, check out all of these videos as they come out every week so in this video I'm gonna be talking a little bit about that teaser video if you haven't seen it yet video link up here in the cards it's only a minute 30 pretty quick watch it before watching this video I'm uh, gonna talk a little bit about some of the stuff in that 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 teaser video but also some some stuff that's world related in update 5 in general there, there are more world related related stuff coming that then th that was just shown in that video so yeah gonna give you a bunch of information uh, address some concerns that some people had all that good stuff so let's just get into it so obviously northern forest is getting a rework as you saw in the video there is uh, some before and after shots of different areas there's also a bit of like lighting and fog rework happening with that as well this change to northern forest is a change that we consider to be a major change for sure uh, it definitely looks and feels very different uh, and a lot of people you know immediately a lot of people's feedback has been, you know, but what about my factory? Is my factory going to be engulfed by the terrain, uh, cliffs, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Now, the good thing about the Northern Forest is that even though this change, the, the rework is major, uh, the impact that it will have on your factory shouldn't be too bad you're gonna get trees in your factory but you can take care of that with a chainsaw you're gonna you're gonna have a bunch of trees in your factory but as far as like landscape goes actually not much has changed so there's very very minor polish to the uh, landscape and terrain so uh, you shouldn't have any issues with the landscape engulfing your factories as, as far as the northern forest is concerned now as for the feedback that we've been getting we've been getting a lot of positive feedback a lot of people love the look of the the new fresh look of the um the northern forest i mean the new assets etc are just a higher quality as well uh the lighting and fog changes seem to be seem to be received well as well however some people have some concerns some people uh are a little bummed that you know it looks a little more earth-like and less alieny right um you know the white willows for example are gone as well and a lot of people are partial to those trees and so we've seen like a lot of people's comments about that um uh, and in fact, on this week's uh, stream, we stream every Tuesday, twitch.tv slash coffee state studios devs. This past stream that just went by, I invited Hannah, the world designer, to join the stream to just talk about, um, yeah, just the just the teaser, uh, you know, the Northern, Northern Forest rework in general, as well as um, addressing some of those concerns that people had. So she talks about like the motivations and inspirations for why we're making these changes, uh, why this that we're going in this direction. Also just issues like specifically about the willow itself that like, issues with like uh its asset quality and also its inability or that that we we struggle to find to uh, a, a way to have it work with other assets in a nice way and then as for like the, the alienness of the way that the area looked before she talks a little bit about how that alien look was just an, an accident it was mostly just a a bunch of random things that we just put together uh, as opposed to a, a an intentional crafted alien look that um that the biome had you know and so with with this new approach we're having a more intentional look and feel even wh whether or not it looks more alien to you or not you know but but at, at least this part of the northern forest is a more cohesive look anyway i can't really explain it so well okay i'm i just make shitty youtube videos let's be real here okay i'm not a, a level designer i'm not an artist so i've actually highlighted that segment of the Twitch stream. So if you're interested in a more sort of like in-depth discuss discussion about that and to hear it straight from Hannah's mouth directly, uh, I'm going to leave a link in the description below. You can go watch that highlight from Twitch. I'm just paraphrasing, so don't don't really, don't listen to me, all right? I'm just giving the TLDR. But but for the most part, the, the response has been great for the Northern Forest rework, and that's really exciting, especially since there hasn't really been a world update for a long time. Something that uh, Hannah talks a little bit about uh, in, in that Twitch highlight as well. So I highly recommend if you care about this stuff to check out that Twitch highlight for sure. Hashtag save the willows, by the way. <laughs> so there's actually another area that's getting a bit of a rework in update five, and that's actually going to be the dune desert again. The dune desert's got, uh, you know, a few changes over the years, but it's going to be a little bit more of a rework again in update five. Now, this wasn't featured in the teaser trailer at all. So this is new stuff, you guys. The changes to the dune desert is kind of weird. Like 
they're more minor. The Dune Desert looks and feels basically the same as it did before. However, the changes that we did make are landscape based. So people who are, you know, kind of concerned about their factories, there's the potential that these landscape changes may encroach on your factory. Um, so I'm going to show off some before and afters of the Dune Desert changes, just of a couple of the places so you can kind of see what we're talking about here. So there's there's the big wall separating the Dune Desert and the Spire Coast. You can see that there used to be kind of steps and now it looks a little bit more natural. Now, you're probably not building factories there, so it's probably not a huge issue, but that's one thing that's being changed. Uh, in the north uh, eastern portion of the dune desert there's uh there used to just be you know just dunes there and now there's going to be this massive crater there again this shouldn't be too much of an issue for people with existing factories in that place as the crater will be going into the ground so you might have a floating factory but you know that's there now the eastern segment of the dune desert is also getting a little bit of work done to it you probably don't have a factory there so there's probably not too much to worry about um, but there are some minor changes things have been moved around a little bit there as well there's also this massive big rock that's being introduced in the middle of the dune desert so if you have factories in the middle of the dune desert Desert. Um, this rock may actually engulf some buildings of yours that are there. Now, the plus side is this rock isn't super huge, and you should be able to work around this rock if it's introduced. Um, but just a heads up, that's coming as well. But you can see that there's some, some new looks there for some of the other changes that are coming in Update 5. Now with that, the Northern Forest and the Dune Desert are actually at a state that we consider to be final. They, you know, We might do some minor polishing here and there, but as of today, as of now, August 6th, uh, we do not plan to do any more major landscape or aesthetic changes to the Dune Desert or the Northern Forest uh, up until, you know, 1.0. So that's kind of exciting that we've got those two areas down as far as we can tell for now. And so at the end of the teaser trailer, there was a shot of a cave, which looked really beautiful and majestic and mystical and wonderful and lovely. Uh, and a lot of people, you know, really liked the look of that as well. And we're wondering, you know, what's going on there? Is this, is this an underground biome, for example? You know, we've hinted that we would be adding another biome at some point in the future. You know, is this that biome? Is, is is this an underground biome coming to update five? I can say that, no, this is not the new biome that we were talking about. However, our intention here is we're gonna be giving this kind of treatment to all the caves that exist in the game at the moment. Uh, in update five, all of them won't have already been done, but we will work through them. And, you know, and with this, we sort of do kind of see the caves kind of as a biome. You know, we want them to have this one cohesive look, but it's not like there's gonna be one big cave section on the map. It's, it's gonna be the caves as they are right now, kind of just sprinkled throughout the map. And we're gonna make them all sort of look, have this nice, beautiful sort of cohesive look to them. So a lot of people also ask, why was there no before shot of that cave? It is a cave that already exists. That cave has changed too much for there to have been a before and after shot. I'll do a before and after kind of fly through right now for you so you can see uh, what's happened. So the, the insides of that cave has changed a little bit. And and actually its location within the world has moved a little bit. The entrance to that cave, the entrance has stayed the same, but the inner workings of that cave has moved around quite a bit. So I couldn't actually get a camera to do a before and after. And and I guess, I guess if there's anyone out there who builds factories in that cave, get your factory out of that cave because you're gonna be in trouble in update five. Don't, why are you building factory in a cave anyway? That's, that's fine, play the game how you wanna play, all right? but maybe take your factory out of that cave. Yeah, okay, so that's a bunch of like world changes that are coming. Uh, some people have asked, can we please get like a kind of like map so we can see what's kind of being worked on and what's being changed. And I've prepared a couple maps for you actually. So the first map that we're gonna look at is this first map here. Uh, and this map here is actually just the map of just the changes that are coming in update five. So you can see that the Northern Forest and the Dune Desert has some work being done to it. Uh, you can also see that we have a couple categories down there, category B and C. Uh, you might be wondering, where's A and D? We'll talk about that in a second. So category B with uh, mid to significant foliage changes, landscape changes may impact your factory. Uh, category C, mild to significant foliage changes. And this case, like in the Northern Forest, foliage changes are significant, but you can take care of those with chainsaws, for example, with a minor landscape polish, um, unlikely to impact your factory. So those are the changes that are coming in update five. Now I have another map for you, which is actually um, sort of our roadmap for map changes between now and 1.0. We don't have a time frame on these necessarily, but we do know that there are no more map changes apart from the update five changes coming this year. So any other map changes will be coming next year. But yeah, this is what the roadmap kind of looks like here. Um, and we've got category uh, A and D added there as well. So category A is actually um, the white section, which is a significant changes to foliage and landscape, very likely to affect your factory. So as you can see, the Spire Coast is probably gonna, you probably don't really wanna build there 
We discourage that. There's a, a lot of work that's going to happen at Spire Coast. Um, so try steer clear of there. If you have anything there at the moment, try and move it out. It's probably a good move. Um, and then category D is just minor polish. That's pretty much final and we're pretty much happy with how that looks. Uh, no major landscape or foliage updates planned for those areas. Uh, and then of course, after update five comes out, the Northern Forest and Dune Desert, as I said before, would go green. Um, they would be considered final as well, you know, maybe only some minor polish in the future. So, you know, as you can see, the vast majority of the map after update five is going to be in, uh, you know, a pretty final state, which is pretty, pretty exciting. Now, there's a, a very obvious concern that people have brought up immediately. Again, once we talk about all these map changes is what's happening with resource nodes, though. You're doing all these changes. What's going to happen with the resource nodes? Now, on the plus side here, uh, resource nodes, we don't plan on actually moving them. Uh, at all. If we move them, they're going to move very, you know, just a very small amount. And actually, you can see in um, this before and after that I did of the crater earlier, um, you can see these resource nodes there. They don't, like, they don't move an inch. They're in the exact same locations, even though the landscape around them has changed a lot. And that's kind of what we intend on doing. So even if you look at the red and white areas of the map that we showed before, categories A and B, um, we still intend all of those resource nodes to be in the same place, regardless of what we do with the landscape around them. Any miners or oil extractors or anything you have down there they should they shouldn't those those nodes shouldn't move too much anyway and even if they do move and things are misaligned your uh, miners and oil extractors and all that stuff will continue to work as if they were attached to that node anyways one other thing that you might be wondering uh is that we had i remember if you know uh, quite a while ago we showcased a video of some like world update like technical updates that are coming in satisfactory in the future we did a, a video with ben our tech artist uh, and he showcased some you know changes to the waterfalls for example and also some reflections some of these cool things. Uh, it is uh, important to note that these changes are not coming in update five. They will come in a future update. Don't ask me why they're not coming out. There's reasons we work on different versions of the game at the same time and compatibilities, blah, blah, blah. They're gonna come at some point in the future, just not in update five. Okay, so that's everything that I wanted to talk about today. I hope you found the video interesting. I hope you're, I hope you're excited for update five. We're really excited to finally be showing you people all of uh, you know the cool stuff that we've been working on. So be sure to like the video if you liked it and subscribe if you wanna keep up to date with what's happening with update five. Thank you all very much for watching the video. Have a lovely weekend, everybody. And hopefully I'll see you next week with more information about update five or a teaser or something. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye. Whoa, 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 whoa. A doggo appeared. Oh, no. Happy little accident. Quick, throw an apple. <laughs> it's coming right for us. Oh, no. <laughs>